Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Fundamentals of Internet of Things. In short, we can also call it as FIOT. So it is one of the important subject as well as a well-known and famous subject for all the uh, ECE as well as electronic students who want to get into uh, like embedded systems or IoT or industrial related uh, projects kind of thing. Okay. So those who are good at programming and you can also get into the uh, course of Internet of Things or IoT. Okay. So especially coming to the syllabus uh, prescribed by the JNTU Hyderabad. Okay. So this particular fundamentals of IoT or Internet of Things is for uh, uh, BTEC third year CSC second semester students. And coming to the course objectives. So the objective of this course are to understand the basic concepts of Internet of Things and also able to build the IoT applications, okay? And not only that, uh, it's a very much advantage to learn the programming side uh, with respect to Arduino as well as Raspberry Pi boards. And not only that, the third main one is you can also uh, learn the data handling as well as analytics of the software defined networks, okay? So once you finish all these particular units, the course outcome of this uh, units will be the students or anybody who acquire this course will be able to uh, have a basic uh, knowledge on the protocols with respect to the sensor networks and also will be having a basic programming knowledge how to configure or play with these Arduino boards and various Raspberry Pi boards. You can also have a basic knowledge on Python and how to interface Raspberry Pi with several uh, IO devices, okay, and how these IOTs are applicable in several different uh, different domains, okay. All these things can be covered by this total fundamentals of Internet of Things subject, okay. So on the whole, there are total in total five units, okay, uh, covered or prescribed by the JNTU Hyderabad, okay. So the unit one, let's see the units or the uh, given topics one by one. Coming to the unit one, unit one is completely introduction to the internet of things. What are the characteristics of internet of things? How it is physically designed with respect to IoT? What are the functional blocks of it? And how this particular IoT is using a sensors will be sensing. And if at all, there are using some output devices, how their actuation is done and how this networking happens. So what are the protocol used and we will be also knowing some sort of sensor networks, okay? And coming to the unit two. So this particular unit two is with respect to the machine to machine communications, okay? How a machine or a device will communicate with another machine or a device, okay? So how this particular M, M to N uh, communications are different from IoT, okay? So we will be also coming across what is an Arduino boards, okay? Actually, what is an Arduino? How programming can be uh, utilized or done for an Arduino boards, okay? And also, we can also practically and theoretically have a knowledge on interfacing sensors and actuators with respect to the Arduino boards, okay? Now, Unit 3 is a little bit advanced than the Arduino. It is completely related to the Python programming linked with the Raspberry Pi boards, okay? So in unit three, we'll be learning introduction to Python programming and how a Python can be applied to a Raspberry Pi board. We also see how an introduction is given to a Raspberry Pi. We can also learn how to interface Raspberry Pi with basic components or sensors, okay? Now, at last, at the end of the unit three, we also learn how a Raspberry Pi can be uh, used for the implementation of Internet of Things or IoT, okay? And coming to the Unit 4. So Unit 4 is nothing but a continuation of Unit 3 where we will be having uh, IoT with Raspberry Pi. Along with that, we also have a software-defined network concepts, okay? So software-defined networks for IoT, data handling, and how analytics are read, everything will be completed in this Unit 4, okay? And coming to Unit 5. So this particular unit five is regarding the cloud computing. We also learn a basic concepts of cloud computing and also how this IoT is applied for the smart cities, smart homes, how these 
IOTs are connected uh, between several vehicles. What is a smart grid? How an IOT is famous for industrial applications? And we are also going to uh, do some case studies for agriculture, healthcare, and activity monitoring, like uh, patient monitoring or an athletic uh, athlete monitoring, whatnot. Okay. So or, uh, if you want to monitor anybody or any uh, room or any device, it can be mentioned into that. Okay. So coming to the textbook, we have several textbooks and references prescribed by the uh, JNTU Hyderabad. And coming to the most uh, approachable uh, textbook is like Internet of Things, okay, by Ashidip Baga and the Vijay Madisati. Okay, so in the references also you have Ashidip Baga and the Vijay Madisati of Internet of Things. Okay, you can uh, have that book. Uh, it will be both available in the offline mode as well as online mode. Okay, so you can go through that. Okay, so if you see the overall five units, it's look quite simple, but uh, the way we understand and uh, the way we learn these particular topics will be very much fetching for the beginners, okay, who want to uh, uh, implement several applications using these IOTs, who want to work with different boards like Arduino's, Raspberry Pi, who want to work with uh, kind of embedded systems projects and IOT programming, who are interested into towards programming like embedded C or Python, okay, or uh, continued, okay. So all these things uh, will be a good package for the students to learn with respect to the fundamentals of Internet of Things, which is very much a uh, famous course as well as very much advantage fetching for the uh, future jobs as well. Okay, the whole future depends on this particular Internet of Things, right? So it is very much useful for the students with respect to academics as well as in the real time. Okay, thank you.